Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Juicy James Gaming. We are back with some more Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness. Now my last video left off in the same area and we're picking right back up right where we left off. And it, it's going to be awesome. You can see those crazy looking fuckers over there. Let's go ahead and get started. Come on, let's go attack these motherfuckers. Mickey, I think that's what the fuck her name is. I forgot already. So I got to sneak up behind him. Get a preemptive strike. Yeah, bitches! Oh, damn. I just destroyed those fuckers. I just destroyed those guys. Well, I can go harvest some stuff up there. I need to get up there, though. Is there a way to get up there from over here? Yeah, let's get up here. I can harvest. I can harvest this stuff. Harvest. White rice. Nice. Oh, there's some more stuff over here. Oh shit. Get off of it. Let's take that. Come on, come on, take that bitch. Yeah. Yeah, cause like I said, I'm just that fucking awesome. Got some more right white rice. Because you know love that white rice. Whoa, we're on the beach. We on the beach. Look how beautiful this beach is. It's like fucking awesome. That thing's huge. How are we supposed to beat a walking mountain? Whoa! Damn, that thing is fucking huge. Holy shit. Oh god, that's not good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. It's doing so much damage to me. Holy shit. Oh my god. It's so big. Yes, please heal me. I want to use up most of my MP to do double slashes on this guy because he is gigantic. Oh hey, what? Allow me to help. Oh yes, please help. Don't get distracted. Focus on the enemy. What do you think I'm doing? Yes, please help me fucking kill this guy, please. Oh my god, this guy's. Come on. Yes, he's almost dead. Come on, baby. Come on, just die for me. Wah! Suck it! Oh, yes. Fucking kill that guy. Thank you for your help, sir. Who are you? We can't thank you enough for that. Long as you're safe. Why, My you. name is Victor Oakville. I'm a soldier with the Rasulian army. This is Miki Savister. And nice to meet you. I'm Fidel Camus. I teach swordsmanship in the village of Stahl. Camus? I knew it. Those techniques had to be the same as Darrell's. They certainly are. Although, if I had to guess, I'd say your style has also been influenced by him. Did you study under him in the army? Of course I did. How interesting. I never knew my master had a child. It's dangerous around here. Let me escort you to the next town. As representatives of Stahl, we're on our way to ask the king for reinforcements. As for why we're doing that, it's because Adelon recently tried to invade our village. I hate to sound presumptuous, but do you think you could take us to the person in charge of dispatching troops? We share both experience on the battlefield and a relation to the same individual. I'll take you to the capital, but I can't assure you of the outcome. Thank you so very much. Why, thank you, sir. Do you think the crown will help us? The timing is far from perfect, but... If Mr. Camus were to put in a good word. What about old man Camus? Master Camus currently works in the capital as an advisor for Rasulia's military. Is it getting dark? He teaches the way of the it's sword. getting dark. Within the army, his word is law. The look at, look at, old look at that. Is really that important now? He is. That is but one reason it would behoove you not to call him an old man in public. Save that for us. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I'll work on it. Okay, okay, so 
What are we doing now? It's fucking dark. It got dark so quick. God, BS is this. Oh, God. I guess we're just gonna keep following this fucking path until we find the next town. I see a structure over there. Maybe that's that's it over there. Well, there's a big ass chest over there. Let's see if I can get it. I want to see if I can get it. Oh, that's a big chest. I wonder if you have to like lock pick it or something. With my luck, you probably do. Yep, <laughs> the one sound every guy likes to hear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just keep going. I, I have no idea how to pick pick locks in this game yet. I think you have to get a skill for it. Yes, we made it. We fucking made it, guys. Oh, so that's me, Doc, I take it? That it is. Oh, in this light, it's stunning. It's dark. It's also the gateway to the neighboring country of Langdok. If we weren't on this mission, I'd love to have a more leisurely look around. My duties require that I spend the night. Oh, sorry, I cut you off there, buddy. <laughs> I didn't really want to hear you talk anyways. The bitch obviously didn't know it was already like almost pretty much sunset already. What steamboat? Midioc. So we found a new town. Or the capital. Let's go right here. So sorry. No, it's my fault. She was just standing there. Okay, I guess I thought I was supposed to talk to her. <laughs> she was just standing in front of the door. I was supposed to go in. I thought I was supposed to talk to her. Okay. He said he'll do the honors. Oh no, we lost Victor. Fiddly? Fiddly? Hey, you awake? Well, now I am. <laughs> Why, you brute? Would it kill you to awaken a little slower? I was scared to death. You're the one that was in my fucking uh, face. Uh, oh, my <laughs> bad. Jesus Christ. What in the name of. I make nice and wake you since the day's getting on, and yet. It's really that late? Yeah, it is. Victor's gone. He went out a while ago. I see. Uh-uh. None of that now. Jeez, get going, get going! <sighs> okay. Now I can start. Good. Then I'll be waiting outside. Don't take long. This bitch. <laughs> she calls me a brute. As always. You're so cute when you sleep. But you're certainly not when you talk like that. <laughs> the bitch is hitting on me now. She's hitting on me. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing now? This is a nice hotel. Jesus, look at this room. It's got four beds. A with tea? There's, there's fucking tea? I want some tea. Give me some fucking tea. I can't attack in here, but I want some fucking tea. Okay, excuse my outburst, and there's wine. Am I old enough to drink? I don't look old enough to drink. I look like I'm 16 years old. Well, uh, anyways, let's keep Are going. Are you good to go? Sorry for keeping you. Victor said he'll be waiting at the Western Gates. Well, joy. The Western Gates. Let's go there. Great. Sorry. Can I get some food first? What the hell? Is that a ha is that like a ham leg? Doesn't look like it's cooked all the way. Listen, lady, I, are are you the cook here? Because you don't know. Obviously, you don't know how to cook fucking cook meat. That's not done. That is not done at all. Get out of my way. I will take some of that bread though. It looks like there's some sausage right there. I will definitely have some sausage. Anyways. Let's go ahead and save my game. I'm fucking saying stupid shit. It's gonna get me in trouble. I have been saved, god damn it. Alright, let's, let's go with me, Victor. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Pardon me and my and this shit I say. 
All right, Western Gate. So where the fuck is that at? Okay, so I'm going to go this way. Hmm, who's that with him? I don't know, but her skirt is really short. <laughs> Sorry, and she's late. got some crazy ass hair. You are. Who might she be? This is Lady Brunelli, a signaturge from Langdon. Lady Brunelli? Holy shit! Fiore Brunelli. You can just call me Fiore. <laughs> Name's Fidel. <laughs> I'm Miki. She is one of the most knowledgeable researchers at the Royal Institute of Signatory <laughs> Studies. Langdoc so kindly dispatched her in response to our own king's request for aid. What? You work at the Royal Institute? That's amazing! You're the envy of signaturges the world over! I'm hardly of that high caliber. No, 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 no. You truly are! Victor, is this the duty you were talking about? Yes, it is. I have been charged with escorting Lady Brunelli safely to our capital. But I know we're all anxious to get there. I'll explain everything else on the way. But hey, uh, does, does she have a tail too, or what? I'm I'm sorry. Hold up. Hold hold up. Hold up. First off, her skirt is super short. I can see that ass hanging out. And two, she's got a fucking tail and looks like she's got wings too. What kind of crazy world is this? And she's wearing what? I need to go. I need. I, I'm I'm going crazy here. <laughs> you can see, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love playing these Japanese games. They're just so fucking Our hilarious. Our nation is currently at war with the neighboring kingdom of Trekur. I've heard a fair share of rumors about that. Things don't look good for us, as cries for support on the front line have reached the capital. So we're losing then? The reports remain unconfirmed, but it seems the enemy has developed a new weapon and is using it to great effect. A new weapon? Such as? I won't pretend to understand it. But it can supposedly attack from great distances and is far more destructive than our most advanced signaturgy. A cryptic new type of weapon? <sighs> Sounds like a scapegoat to me. The fact that we're losing is true. And so is the fact that no signaturges in the field can discern why. And I've been called to figure it out. Our nation has always had a close and congenial relationship with the Eastern Kingdom of Langdok. Now we must call upon them for aid in unraveling this mystery as they possess the finest signaturgical research facility on the entire continent. I see. So that's how it is. Okay, where the fuck am I now? I guess we're going to the capital now. Okay, okay. Gee, that ass is just like staring at me in the fucking face. What is that? Oh, Jesus. What, what, what are these? Like, come on. These seriously can't be enemies. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, come on, come on. At least I got like four four players in my party, so it helps out a lot actually. Nice. That was it. Why she always why do all these like fan service characters have to sound so sexual? Ah! <laughs> Alright, first off, I gotta harvest this shit over here. Got blueberries. Nice blueberries. Gotta love them blueberries. Okay, so I guess we're gonna continue going this way. Look how green this place is. It's all. Hey, no, no, no. Wait, you wanna go? Wait, you just stand me. You wanna go? You wanna fucking go? I'll go. I'll come over here. I'll, I'll come over here. I'll fuck your asses up. Come on, bitch. We ain't got shit. There we go. Firebolt. Firebolt them. Oh, she healed me. Nice. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Nice. Nice. Oh, wait. So we're just going right here? Are you kidding me? I still have a lot more to learn. All right, let's just let's just keep going. Oh look, look at the little birdies. They have big ass beaks though. I'm about to kick their asses too. Just 
just peck me? Piece of shit. Stop fucking pecking me, you son of a bitch. Okay, that bitch is dead. Come here. Come here, fucker. Nice. Why can't they all be this easy? I don't know. Why can't they all be that easy? Because then the game would suck. Let me go pick. I'm gonna harvest this real quick, and then we'll head. And then we'll keep going forward. All right. Is this the capital? Is this? Was this the long journey to the capital? Because it was a pretty short journey. Let's go to the capital. Okay, cool. Pretty quiet for a capital. How different from Langdok. Follow me to the castle. Lady Brunelli, sorry to ask you before settling on where to stay, but will you join us? Okay. Uh, she didn't even say anything. Are we forcing her to sleep in our room as against her will? Sorry, but the Master, have been scarce. I don't care if you pay double the price. Get them. Is that my dad? You're back? Well done. As instructed, I brought Lady Brunelli with me, along with someone else. Dad. What makes the two of you think you should even be here? Stahl has been attacked by Adelon. We managed to repel their first attempt, but we're up against the wall. We came here to petition the king to send the village reinforcements. Hmm. Uh, that is a problem. You're damn right's problem. So you'll... However, we can't provide any troops. Now go home and prepare to fight. Dad, what authority do you think- Don't call me that. Right now I'm not your father, but the official reviewing your request. What a dick. Lady Brunelli, was it? I cannot thank you enough for coming all this way on our behalf. Our proud nation is currently under siege from the barbaric tribes to the west. What's more, while it pains me to admit this, the outlook is rather grim. So I've heard. We are planning a counterattack with the whole of Central Rasulia's army, and should be sortieing soon. I apologize for the short notice, but might it be possible for you to fight alongside us, Lady Brunelli? Hmm, it certainly is. Sorry, Victor, but I need you to help shore up the rear. First, pass the order on to your subordinates. Then, once that's done, get ready to ship out. Yes, sir. What do we do now? All that's left for us is to return to Stahl. You're going back to your village? Then you should take the Dakar footpath there. It's a much quicker route than the way we took here. Aww. I lost Fiore, now I lost Victor. My dad's a dick, guys. He was an asshole. Okay, so what the fuck am I supposed to do now? I guess I'm just supposed to leave? Because my dad's a dick? I got holy water. Nice, nice, nice. What is this, like a jobs board? Oh, yep. I figured as much. This is a quest board. The things we do for beauty. I don't feel like doing these right now. So what am I supposed to do? Oh, one second. Sorry, get the fuck out of the way. Let's go. I guess we're leaving. Going back to stall. Yeah, like a weapon shop. 
All right, sweet guys. So we just purchased some new stuff. I got a new sword and I got some better armor. I actually purchased some some, some stuff from this lady here. Or not a lady. I thought it was a lady, but it's a guy. So, <laughs> so we're going to... Let's see here. All right, so let's go ahead and head back because I guess that's all we can do right now. We gotta head back to stall since our dad's a dick. He's like, no, go fuck yourself. Go back there and fight. Okay, so where the fuck? Okay, so I gotta go this way. I gots to go this way. Come here, little guy. Show me what you got. Go to hell. Oh man, this sword is a lot better. What? It's over already? Yeah, yes, it's over already. What'd you expect? Look at that weird lizard creature down there. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, guys. Okay, so we gotta keep going this way. Right? Nope, I'm going the completely wrong way. I think I gotta head down this way. A couple of crazy lizard guys down there and there. I kinda wanna fight these guys and see how strong they are. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go fight these guys. Fuck these guys. Oh, yeah, I remember my training, all right. Oh, shit. Yeah, go fuck yourself. I guess one of them escaped. All right, so we gotta go this way. Well, okay, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it off there for this episode. Some shit happened. Our, we found out our dad's a dick. We found a crazy lady who has bouncy tits, a crazy short skirt who shows off her ass and tail and wings. All kinds of shit happened. And so far, I'm loving all of it. <laughs> I love playing these these JRPG games just because they're so out of this world and they're so hilarious. The It's just awesome. I, I love it. I'm loving every single second of it. Let me know what you guys are thinking. How, let me know what you guys think about this game in the comments below. But that's going to be all for me tonight. And as always, stay juicy, motherfuckers. Peace out.